Hey guys, today's video is going to be a pretty short one as we'll be learning about content aware fit in Adobe InDesign. So let's get started. Let me create an A3 sized document in landscape as I'll fit in a few images. So I'll need a bigger space. And uh, once my document is up, I'm going to map out the dimensions of my images using the rectangle frame tool. So let's make five frames as I have five images to fit in. I don't really remember if my images are landscape or portrait. And uh, that's one good thing about content aware fit. Irrespective of the orientation of your images, it tries to fit in what's in focus in the best possible way. Okay, now that my frames are set, let me go to file and place to locate and place my first image here. Now I'm sure by now you're aware of this behavior of InDesign. Our frames orientation is portrait but our image is landscape. So even if I right click and go to fitting and then do a fit content to frame, you'll find that the content does fit to the frame but the image is a lot distorted and is not looking as it should. So I'm going to do a command Z on a Mac or control Z on a PC to undo the last operation. And now I'm going to right click on the image, go to fitting and select content aware fit. And you'll find that InDesign has somehow understood the focus of the image and has intelligently fit the best part from the image when we place it inside a frame by evaluating various parts of the image. So let's grab another frame and place our second image here. Now right click on the image and go to fitting and select content aware fit and see how InDesign has not just let the girl live on this image. Even these branches on the right were considered as important for InDesign. Now I'm sure if we right click and go to fitting and do a fit content to frame, we'll find more content will try to fit into our frame. It's just because the way this feature has been developed, it only considers the focused area to be the most important. And I think in an image like this, where the branches are also occupying quite a lot of space, InDesign is doing its best to strike a balance here. So let's click on the third frame. And in fact, let me also show you the setting through which you can make it your default setting to have content aware fit activated for uh, all your imported images. So let's go to InDesign on the top left and uh, then Preferences. And then under Preferences, go to General. I think for Windows users, the Preferences option sits under Edit. All right, so now here, go to the last option that's about Content Aware Fit. All you need to do is just check the box and hit OK. And now let's go to file, place and place our third image here to see if our setting is any good. Perfect. Did you see how InDesign has shed the extra stuff from the corners of the image and has kept the focus intact? I think it's a brilliant feature. Now if I do a fit content to frame on this one, you'll find what parts of the image got lost using content aware fit. I think we can live with it. Let's quickly import our image 4 and now remember all our imports are going to be content aware fit imports as that's how we've set it. And you can always right click on the image and go to fitting and try other options to see if there are better options you can fit your image with. Alright now let's finish it off by importing our last image here. Also, another thing I would like to talk about is that you can even find the frame fitting options under properties panel on the right. So you don't have to right click each time you import an image and do remember to uncheck the content aware fit option from preferences if you think you won't be needing it and would like to check out other options each time you imported an image. 
All right, guys. So that's all about content aware fit. You love it or you hate it, but you just can't ignore it. If you've learned something new from this tutorial, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Until we meet again, goodbye and thanks for watching.